Hi, this is Zupercat from Ask Mr. Robot, and I wanted to show you how to make and test your own builds using Mr. Robot's Build Analyzer tool. There's a couple of ways to get there. You can click on the big button right here, or go to one of the champion pages. Now these champion pages have some other information I want to show you anyway, so let's click on Graves. Now as you know, a lot of the Season 3 guides aren't up to date yet. So we've taken the time to look up which guides have been updated, provide you with a little bit of information. If anything's outdated, we wanted to let you know. And we compiled a few resources at the bottom that you might also find interesting. Now, let's go to the Champion Analyzer from Graves page. Here you're looking at Graves versus a target dummy. You can select an actual opponent as well, but we're going to leave it for the target dummy for now. You can play with the target dummy's armor, health, and magic resist right here on these sliders. You can also choose different options to use summoner spells, enables Banshee's Veil. And then here, it graphs the damage against the target dummy over time. So down here you've got the item build, the ability sequence, spells, masteries, runes, and you can edit all of these. It's pretty basic stuff. Those interfaces are nice and easy. As you can see here, the items line up with the time on the graph, and you can slide these items around. Uh, we put them on based on a default uh, gold earned, but if you're either a good or a bad player, feel free to move these around. So let's edit the item sequence. Click the edit button here, and you'll see this is the purchase order up here. Down here we've got the shop. So let's go ahead and buy something. Let's buy a black cleaver. Everybody loves that. It's OP, at least before it gets nerfed. I hit purchase, and you see that it just got added to the end right here. Now this whole interface here is drag and drop, so I can move these boots over here. I can put a shop trip in after them. And then I can right click to remove an item, but we're not going to do that yet. So here you can also switch um, the map selected and the items will change. And we have a really cool section we added down here, utility, or a jungle slowing gold generation and vision items. All right, so let's click save. And so everything that we have in this build is graphed right here. Now the fun part, let's compare a couple of builds. I'm gonna click copy. So here you see the new one showed up. And we're gonna move the infinity edge around. So let's click edit going to add a shop trip over here, move this Phantom Dancer to be purchased after the Infinity Edge. Let's see what happens. Click Save, click the Graph button right here, and so now you see where this jumps around. So since this lines up down here, it's really nice. So here you can see that the Phantom Dancer was bought on the first one, which is why the Phantom Dancer lines higher. And then here this shoots up, well that's where the Infinity Edge was bought, so it's kind of cool. So now that you're looking at this graph, you might be wondering a few things. Are we modeling the Bloodthirster stacks? Um, you know, some of the things about Graves' abilities. Well, each champion has a few options. So here at Graves, you can choose the starting True Grit stacks and the Buckshot hits per shot. Uh, here's the rotation we're modeling. And then here's a combat log. It spits everything out, shows you the timestamps, when buffs are applied, the damage, all that stuff. Uh, one thing to note here is that you might see one ability show up later than you would expect, and it's because we actually model in the travel time of the missiles. So now let's save this so we can share it. As long as you're logged in, you can click the save button here. Now watch the URL. The URL is going to change once I name it here. And you'll see this randomly generated key right here, so that's how you know. You can grab it, save it, and share it.